Hi, today I am going to discuss about turbo propeller engine working principle. Contents. Here introduction main components and functions working principle. These are the contents for the turbo propeller engine explanation. Normally all the jet propulsions basically works based upon the Newton's theory law. Here Newton's theory law states that every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. Example balloon. Take a balloon. The air is compressed inside the balloon. Then the released air axis a process down at the exit. Here reaction balloon goes up. This is the basic principle for jet propulsion. It is similar to turbo jet engine. So the components are same here. But the conventional propeller is usually mounted in front of the jet engine. This is the propeller which is mounted in front of the engine. So this is the one big difference between turbo jet and a turbo propeller engine. Next main components and functions. First one diffuser. Diffuser. Diffuser is nothing but to increase the pressure and reduce the velocity of atmospheric air. Here. The atmospheric air first enters into the diffuser in turbo jet engine. But here the diffuser is used to increase the pressure energy of air from the atmosphere compressor. Here rotary or axial compressor was used. Here the soft. Soft is coupled to the turbine. So one end is the atmospheric air passed from the atmosphere to the diffuser. Then the diffuser passed the low pressure air into the compressor. Here the compressor was used because the low pressure which is compressed to increase the pressure level higher. So that's why we have to use compressor for turbo propeller engine. Next combustion chamber. The high pressure air is enters into the combustion chamber. Here the fuel igniter, fuel injector. Here the fuel is ignited to the high pressurized air into the combustion chamber. So the combustion will take place inside the combustion chamber. Turbine. The turbine are used because after combustion, the high pressure gases enters into the turbine. Here the turbine is used to expand the air to low pressure. Hence, na next one the nozzle. Nozzle is uh, just opposite to that of diffuser. Here the nozzle is used to convert the pressure energy to kinetic energy and releases with high velocity of burned gases from one engine. Here the burned gases after combustion. The burned gases which is released from the nozzle at high velocity. That's why we have used nozzle for turbo propeller engine. Reduction gear. Reduction gear. Here the gear box is assembled. Why means reduction gear was used here turbo propeller engine because the angular velocity of the soft is very high. The compressor next at the another end we have used turbine the turbine is rotating device which is used to drive the compressor by means of the soft. The angular velocity of the soft is very high but the propeller cannot run at very high angular velocity so only we have to use reduction gearbox before the propeller. Next propeller. About 90% of the energy in the hot gases is absorbed by the turbine and only about 10% remains to increase the speed of the exhaust jet. According a very small portion of the overall thrust is produced by the jet and most of it come from the propeller. This is the type of propeller was used in turbo propeller engine. Working principle turbo propeller engine. Here the atmospheric air passed to the propeller. Then the atmospheric air passed to the diffuser. Here the example for example at a certain altitude for example uh, 6000 meter that is 6 kilometer from the sea level the flight is 
5 over sky so next here 0 0.5 bar pressure is passed to the diffuser here diffuser is used to increase the pressure so 0 0.6 bar is the atmospheric pressure next uh, diffuser is used to increase the pressure so for example 0 0.6 bar is converted into just 2 bar then the 2 bar of pressure is passed to the compressor the compressor is used to increase the pressure from low pressure to high pressure then the high pressure gas is passed to the combustion chamber here the fuel will ignite from the fuel injector here combustion will take place inside the combustion chamber then the hot gases is expand through the turbine this is the turbine this is compressor this is main shaft here the gearbox which is reduction gear was assembled together because the shaft speed is very high the angular velocity is very high but it is not equal to propeller velocity so only we have to use gearbox in this turbo propeller engine so after turbine expansion the high velocity of gases exit from the exit nozzle so this is the basic working principle of turbo propeller engine so here axial compressor used for better fuel economy the propeller is used to increase the flow rate of air then the expanded gases to be released through the nozzle with the high velocity due to high velocity of gases a reaction or thrust is produced so this is the newton's third law ok for every reaction there is an equal and opposite reaction due to high velocity of gases from the exit a reaction thrust is produced in the opposite direction that's why a uh, jet will be propelled total thrust to produced by propeller and nozzle this is total thrust propelled the aircraft note down the following points these are the demerits and demerits of the turbo propeller engine it is suitable for low speed and low altitude this is the one of the disadvantages of turbo propeller engine because of turbo because of propeller was used here higher weight the weight of the aircraft will be more because we have used propeller fuel cost is economy more space is required because the propeller was used high take of thrust achieved because total thrust is produced by the propeller and a nozzle reduce noise and vibration so thank you for watching for more videos subscribe m channel thank you